Welcome back to Ticker News. Let's turn our attention to the latest in the world of social media with our expert, Dr. Karen Sutherland from the University of the Sunshine Coast. Welcome back to you today. How are you? Going well, going well. Thanks for your patience. Um, let's get into this. This is really interesting. Clubhouse, we know, has been booming over recent times. We've now moved into the Android space, which has taken some time. So why has it taken so long, do you think? Well, and I have to say, it's taken some time and there's still going to be a little bit more time. But the, the news is that it started. So it's in beta mode right now in the US, so still limited. So they're testing over the next few weeks. But then they're going to roll it out to English-speaking countries. I'd say over the next maybe two months. So it's a little bit further to wait. But the, the good news is it's happening. As I, I every time I chat to you, I'm always you always ask me about that. <laughs> yeah. So is it is it too late in a way? We know iPhone users have already been involved heavily so far. Does it will this make a difference? Do you think in terms of people wanting to use it on Android? Well, look, I think that the, the thing that will impact it are the other platforms already creating their own version of Clubhouse. So these um, live sort of audio spaces that, of course, will be available to Android. So uh, I think maybe that's going to slow it down. So I read a report this week to show that the, the adoption rates and download rates of Clubhouse are starting to slow. And, and I think this is because other platforms where people that people are already familiar with already using are starting to, to um, make theirs available. So it'll be interesting to see whether this new, um, you know, availability to Android and for Android users will um, will make it pick up again or, or whether it is um, it is a bit too late. But, it, you know, only time will tell. Do you see Clubhouse as being something that will have longevity and they'll be able to build over time or could it just be maybe a shorter term, um, you know, peak in popularity? Look, I think some people have actually built up a very big community and and a, a, like a big following on Clubhouse. So I think those who started from the very beginning to establish themselves, I think they will stay. I, I really do. Uh, but I think other people who are just sort of becoming familiar with this type of feature will probably stay with the platforms they're already familiar with and already have a following on. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So do we know, do we have a, a bit of a date as to when uh, Android will start to connect with Clubhouse or it's going to take a bit more time? Well, they said like that it's available now in beta in the US. So they said they're just getting feedback over the next couple of weeks before they roll out further. So yeah, it could it could be up to a month or, a, or maybe a little bit longer. So that's my prediction anyway. So I'd say what we're in um, May now. So I'd say by July, Chances are that Android users will be able to access it, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, keep us up to date. Keep us up to date. Yeah, let's look at captions. So, of course, we know what captions are, uh, but they're being used in social media um, for pretty solid purposes. And it sounds like, in, according to the numbers, people are relying on captions when it comes to their social media use. Absolutely. So, captions are hugely important, not only for accessibility reasons for, yeah. for people who can't hear the sound. People are generally consuming video content using the caption. So there was a study that was done um, a couple of years ago that showed that about it was something really like 90% of people who watch Facebook videos actually don't have the sound on. So if you're not putting captions on your videos, you're going to miss a whole audience because, I mean, people are watching things out in public or, or you know, they don't want to be annoying or some people can't help themselves, you know, with the sound on. And, um, and so they're reading what's going on in, instead. And so uh, it, it's just a really important function to add onto your videos, what, whatever uh, platforms you're using. And so Instagram, I think late last week, they um, added a sticker on their stories where you can record yourself doing a, you know, a, a piece to camera talking um, on your story. And then you add the, um, the caption sticker and it will transcribe that and put the captions on the story for you. Right. Were you surprised to see those numbers? I watching their videos. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I actually wasn't surprised because a lot of people don't have the sound on when they're watching video. That's why, um, you know, Facebook now, it's like automated that they're on there. YouTube, it's automated. So they're, they're so important to a video that some most of the platforms are now just putting them in there as, as part of it and actually automating the process. And I know even on TikTok, they, um, some creators have access to um, the ability to, to add the captions in, within um, the, the platform. But there's so many tools to add captions now that you can do it, record your video, load it in there, add, add to the captions and you can put it on. So yeah, it's really, it's actually a really important function. 
So are there any other groups, just to finish, where um, because if, if it is this important, as you say, other people, um, other companies or brands need to get involved and, and also be using captions? Or is it something that is more um, generally used, everyone's getting involved in this? Yeah, I, I think it's just good practice. Like, I just think it's, it's good practice in terms of making your, your content more accessible to people who can't hear, who are hearing impaired. Or, but also just opening the the, um, the widening widening the audience to people who can't you know can't listen to the sound, so they're just re reading it as they're scrolling through. So yeah, I think it's just good practice as part of video production and editing. Yeah, great, interesting stuff, and yeah, it's good practice and it's very very important. Obviously, uh, great to chat with you today. We'll talk really soon. Thanks so much. Good stuff.